Hi everyone, welcome to another Shea Bean Vlog. As communicated in our Express Entry Guide video, which you can watch by clicking the link above, here's a guide on how to calculate the CRS scope. Alright, let's calculate the Comprehensive Ranking System or the CRS score using the tool that's available on Government of Canada website. A few things to keep in mind before we proceed. As a legal disclaimer mentioned here, this tool that we are using to calculate the CRS score is for general guidance and reference purpose only. The score that we are going to obtain on this web page might be slightly different from the final score that you will obtain at the time you submit your Express Entry Profile. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Second is the points that you're going to obtain for your age, education and work categories will be different if you're applying with a spouse or common law partner or in other words, dependent applicant compared to if you're applying as a single individual. We have provided a link in the description below where you can obtain more details on how these points have been allocated. Lastly, the responses that we are going to provide in this example scenario are based on frequent and common responses provided by majority of PR applicants, including both of us. So keep this in mind because your responses will be different from the responses that we are providing in this example and the final score will also be different. With that being said, before we jump into the questionnaire, if you haven't already, please do like our video and subscribe to ShareB Vlog. Thank you. Okay, let's proceed to the questionnaire, starting off with the first question regarding the marital status. Second question is a yes or no question asking whether your spouse or common law partner is a Canadian citizen or a PR holder. Select whichever is applicable for you. Based on the response that you provide, uh, there will be a secondary question asking whether your spouse or common law partner will come with you to Canada. So again, it's a yes or no question. Select whichever is applicable for you. Third question is regarding the age. Here, if you're applying as a couple, uh, this question and the subsequent questions that will follow is focused on the main applicant. So keep that in mind. As you see, it starts from ages 17 or less goes all the way to 45 or more. However, the points are being allocated for applicants within the ages of 18 to 44 only, and with uh, applicants with the age of 20 to 29 obtaining the maximum points. With that being said, another key thing to remember is if you're applicant above the ages of 29, uh, for each year, five points will be reduced. So keep that in mind when you start your PR application process. Okay, question number four is regarding level of education of the main applicant. Um, make sure when you're selecting the qualification that you select the qualification that you currently have. Why we emphasize that is because you need to obtain an ECA or education credential assessment from a reputed government organization and you need to provide this ECA certificate uh, at the time you submit your application along uh, once you receive your invitation to apply or ITA. So make sure you select the education qualification that you currently have where you can obtain an ECA. Okay. Question number 4B is asking whether you have earned a Canadian degree, diploma or certificate. Again, it's a yes or no question. Select whichever is applicable for you. Question number five is regarding official language uh, test results. As you know, English and French are the two official languages of Canada. And uh, so you need to complete one of the official language tests in order to proceed. So the first question is asking whether the test results that you have obtained or planning to obtain is less than two years. For this one, you have to select yes. If you select no, this is what you're going to get, saying you do not appear to be eligible to proceed with the extra entry at this moment. Okay, so therefore you have to select yes. And uh, second question is where they provide the recognized uh, language tests. So select whichever is applicable for you. We are going to go ahead and select IELTS as that's what we completed. And we are going to provide the responses. Okay. 
okay and here again if you haven't already uh, completed a language test uh, i'm planning to complete give emphasis on to this and try to do well and obtain a good score because each of this uh, each of these categories uh, have a uh, overall impact towards your uh, final crs score so keep that in mind and try to uh, focus and complete and get a good results for your language test okay jump into the second question third question which is regarding the second language test if you have obtained any of uh, the qualification or test results from any of these two select you otherwise uh, select not applicable proceed into question number six which is regarding the work experience uh, here um, this work ex question number one is whether you have work experience in canada so make sure again this is for the main applicant so if you have work experience in canada select the a number of years that's applicable for you otherwise select none or less than a year okay the second question under work experience is whether you have work experience in uh, foreign skill work experience in uh, last 10 years again this is emphasizing work experience in your home country so if you ha select uh, whichever the number of years that's applicable for you as you see it's only goes up to three years question number seven is regarding whether you have obtained a certificate of qualification from canadian province territory or federal body again if you are here if you're not sure what the question is regarding refer the notes that they have provided not just for this question for any other questions of, uh, in this question uh, crs score question here if you're not sure refer the notes that they have provided and obtain a better understanding and for some questions they have even provided a link where you can obtain more details so refer the notes and click on the link and obtain additional information before you proceed to provide a response okay question number eight is regarding whether you have a valid job offer again here they have provided some notes along with two links to provide obtain more details uh, for this question so read the read the notes and refer the uh, links if you need more details and provide the response accordingly question number nine is whether you have obtained a nomination certificate from a province or territory again it's a yes or no question select whichever is applicable for you question number 10 is whether your you or your spouse who will be coming with you have a brother or sister or in other word a sibling who's a canadian pr resident or a citizen so again they refer the notes if you're not sure and provide the applicable correct response okay before we jump into question number 11 uh, one thing i forgot to mention is that question number eight nine and ten are uh, focused on to provide additional points for you so if you have completed any of these or if you have any uh, results are from these three questions uh, please do provide the correct response because it adds more points towards your overall crs score okay question number 11 is regarding the level of education of your spouse common law partner or in other words a dependent application can so here again make sure you select the qualification that they currently have where you can obtain an eca okay jump into question number 12 it's asking for the work experience in canada for the spouse or common law partner or the dependent applicant within the last 10 years again if they have work experience in canada select the number of years accordingly otherwise select none or less than a year question number 13 first question is asking whether the common law partner or the spouse or the dependent applicant have completed a language test unlike the main applicant here they do have an option to select not applicable which you can click and proceed again but we would highly recommend that you complete one of these sex uh, language tests as it again adds more towards your overall crs score Okay, select the results accordingly. Okay, that brings us to the end of the question here. Let's click on calculate your scores to obtain our score. 
Okay, before we proceed to see uh, what we obtained for as a, as a CRS score for this example scenario, uh, here they, they have mentioned the score is given out of 1,200 for all express entry candidates. And they have broken it down to four parts so that it's easy for us to get an idea of the points that we have obtained for each of the categories based on the responses we provided above. There's even a separate section called spouse factor where the points for education, language and Canadian work experience, if any, obtained by our spouse or common law partner or the dependent applicant based on the responses we provided above. With that being said, let's proceed to find out the overall CRS score that we have obtained for this example scenario. Okay, at the very bottom where it says comprehensive ranking system formula grand total, this is what we are seeking. So we have obtained 466 for this example scenario, which is a really good score. Uh, we have provided a link in the description below for an external website. Again, it's an external website, not a Government of Canada website. Why we are selecting this external website is because they have um, data for the couple, last couple of years when it comes to all the invitation rounds and the CRS points uh, for each of these invitation rounds. So you can get a better understanding of how the CRS scores fluctuate uh, for each of the invitation rounds and to see where your score stands when it comes to the current uh, CRS score. Another point I would like to add is if your score is as, as like on the borderline, I would recommend you if you have the luxury of time and resources to retake the language test because that's the easiest way you could improve your uh, overall CRS score and to give it another try uh, so that you can improve your CRS score uh, and um, get an invitation to apply or an ITA sooner than later. Okay, with that being said, we come to the end of uh, this example scenario where we calculated the CRS score. The comment section is open, so feel free to submit any questions or comments that you have regarding the CRS score calculation or regarding the overall Canadian PR process. We'll be happy to provide our response to your questions and comments and to share our knowledge with you to help you throughout your Canadian PR journey. With that being said, if you haven't already, please do like this video and subscribe to Share Bean Vlog. Your subscription, your likes, your comments will obviously give us that additional motivation or encouragement to continue to provide uh, con video content of this nature and to share our knowledge uh, regarding the Canadian PR process with you as well as share our experience of the life in Canada with you. So stay safe. Peace.